So we are currently at the Mizpah Hotel. The most haunted hotel in the country. room. Here it goes. Wow. <laughs> that is so beautiful. I just, I love the way it canopies over. This is definitely the lady in red's room. This has got to be the nicest hotel and nicest hotel room that we have stayed in yet. But really guys, this is the main reason why we're here. So we are currently at the Mizpah Hotel in Tonopah, Nevada. Now, if you ever heard of this hotel, then you know exactly how infamous it really is. In fact, your favorite paranormal investigators have probably stayed here. Now, before we get into what makes this specific hotel so infamous, let us give you a little bit of background on it. The hotel opened its doors back in 1907 during the silver boom, over a hundred years ago. Being one of the first luxury hotels in the state, the hotel acted like a hotspot for both celebrities and investors. However, the Mizpah actually closed down back in 1999 and remained closed for a number of years. That was until 2011 when it was completely renovated and reopened. One thing that didn't change though are the rumors and story of the Mizpah being extremely haunted. In fact, the Mizpah often appears in the top 10 list of the most haunted hotels in the country. And according to the USA Today, it is the most haunted hotel in the country, beating out places like the Queen Mary and even the Stanley Hotel. Whether or not that's true, we're here to see if it lives up to its reputation. It's stories like that and the overall feel of the hotel that earned it the number one spot on USA Today's list of haunted hotels. According to a new list from Historic Hotels of America, the Mitzpah Hotel, built in 1907, is believed by many to be home of several ghostly figures. First impressions on this room. Damn, did they really stick to the Lady in Red theming? They went all out. Now this room is on the top floor, so if you look out the window, you got one hell of a view. This whole room, it feels so elegant and beautiful. I feel almost like royalty just being in here. Wow, it's just as fancy as the rest of the room. Oh, look at them. Now don't let how amazing this room looks fool you. This is considered to be the most haunted room in this hotel. And it's part of the reason why this hotel is considered to be the most haunted hotel in the United States. And it has one hell of a gruesome story to back that up. But we will get to that later. We are in the lobby. This place is so freaking amazing looking. I'm at a loss for words. And they also have a piano. I think Lisa is gonna play us a little tune. You wanna hear me play? Yeah. I know how to play. We are now going upstairs. 
to what they call the annex. So this part of the hotel used to be like its own separate thing and I think they combined them both together. Yeah, I saw some old pictures of it and you can see the two separate buildings. So now we're going to the proper second floor here. And as we get into these hallways, they become like dead quiet. We'll show you what we mean. Yeah, it's dead quiet in here. Ah, oh, shoot, they got an exercise room? We gotta go in there. <laughs> Whole exercise room. Did you hear that? Hear what? Squeaking? Yeah, you didn't hear that like, huh? That was my boot. Oh, dude. <laughs> What's Bro, that noise? Yeah, I almost flipped out. I was like, the hell was that? <laughs> we are on our way to the third floor, which is actually one of the more active floors. Up here is where they say the ghost of the unknown soldier roams the halls. The spirits of the Mizpah Hotel have made quite a reputation for themselves. It's rumored that this hotel is completely swarming with spirits and strange happenings. Now, one of those spirits is that of the nameless soldier who is said to have died in the hotel. Now, he supposedly haunts the third and fourth floor, but he's not the only one haunting them. Many people have claimed to see a pair of children haunting the hallways and rooms of the third floor. They're known to play pranks on guests and can even be heard <laughs> giggling. One of the maids back early actually put her kids in a cooler. If you were gonna work, you can't bring your kids. Yeah. So she hit them in a cooler and they yeah. passed away. Their mom was the third floor maid. The top floors are not the only place where activity occurs in the hotel. Two bank robbers were murdered down in the basement by their partner after he became too greedy during a heist. Anyone that goes down there reports feeling strange and uncomfortable. Another crazy story revolving around the Mizpah Hotel is of Senator Key Pittman, who reportedly died here in 1940. Legend has it that his body was actually kept on ice in one of these hotel bathtubs. If you could do this, like I don't believe this. Strange things happen, and I go, okay, well, I'll give you the at least it's a little strange. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. There's something very creepy about these hallways. I'm not sure if it's the lighting because it's super dim. I definitely feel that because even though each floor looks and like it's laid out the same something about it is like different each time it kind of like messes yeah. with your head honestly so far i've gotten more of a creepy eerie feeling in these hallways than the actual room that we're staying in take that for what it's worth i guess to kind of go along with what rye was saying every time i stop i feel like i have to look behind me i don't know why We are back in our room. As we mentioned earlier, there is a very dark history in here that we want to talk to you guys about. And that specifically has to do with the most famous spirit of the hotel, the Lady in Red. Now the Lady in Red actually went by the name of Rose. Now Rose was what we would call a woman of the night, if you know what we mean. Rose actually lived up here on the top floor where she would also conduct her business. Now it's rumored that a jealous ex-lover of hers actually asked her to stop her line of work. When she refused him, it sent him into a fit of rage and he ultimately ended up hanging her and stabbing her to death. Depending on the story you hear, she either died in this very room or she managed to stumble her way out of this room and died just outside of the door in the hallway. Either way, that's a terrible way to go. Despite Rose's terrible death, she's actually a very welcoming, kind, and generous spirit. Some men that visit the Mizpah Hotel report hearing disembodied voices, especially in the elevator. Some even claim that she moves things around the room, and you might even find a pearl under your pillow. So now that you guys are all caught up on the history of the room and why it's so haunted, me and Lisette have a little challenge that we're gonna do. But before we tell you about it, we're gonna rock, paper, scissors for it. So, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 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 
God, basically the challenge is I'm going to stay in this room by myself, blindfolded with a voice recorder with the lights off. Let's just go ahead and get this over with. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, Jesus. Ooh, that's heavy. <laughs> it's story time. Wow. Yeah, that's a whole book dedicated to just experiences. There's one dated back from 2014. As I passed in front of the bedroom window, the shadow of a woman passed on the opposite wall. When I drew the curtain to discourage her presence, she disappeared. About 4 a.m., I woke up to the voice of a very young girl saying, it's okay, you can come out, Jane, with giggles in the background. Later in the night, after getting back to the room, he walked around the hallway using Snapchat filters that should only pop up if it recognizes faces. It lit up with faces being recognized all over. In the room, we were in bed and the side table light somehow went out and the plug literally came out of the wall. At 10 p.m., my husband said, do you hear that? I replied, yes, I think it's the wind. There was no wind blowing. 3 a.m., woke up to a female voice saying, can't wait till morning. Weird. Okay, we got the lights off now. It's a lot more nerve wracking than I thought it'd be. <laughs> okay, so I have the voice recorder here, the blindfold, I got a timer for four minutes. I'm gonna give Lisette exactly a minute to get away from this room. I also have four cat balls on the bed behind me, so we'll see if those go off at any point. I'm gonna press record on this. The timer has started and I'm now gonna blindfold myself. So Lisette is now gonna leave the room. See you later, Ryan, and good luck. See ya. <laughs> okay. So we're at three minutes right now. Already left the room. We're just walking down the stairs. Honestly, I feel like I'm in a game of Resident Evil. If you remember the old games, and they just have like the walking down the stairs animation. That's what it feels like. It doesn't look like anyone's like checked into these rooms. <sighs> I'm gonna just walk down the stairs because being idle for too long makes me kind of nervous. God, why am I always stuck doing the most terrifying things? <sighs> okay. If you would like to answer any of my questions, just whisper into this little device that I'm holding in my hand. So my first question is, are you here with me, Rose? Are you a nice spirit? Are you upset? about what happened to you? We have a minute. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back up real quick. <sighs> I don't like these hallways, dude. This is so creepy. I don't know why, but I'm getting like a sense of urgency right now. I'm feeling Slightly panicked, but I'm gonna keep my cool. Are you lonely, Rose? Do you like me, Rose? We're at 39 seconds. We're gonna go back to Rai's room. Okay, my alarm is going off. <sighs> ah, okay, let me take this off. God, this is so much more freaky. Uh, I know the timer's up and Lissette should be heading upstairs any minutes, but I have one more question. I guess I'll just close my eyes for this. Will you talk to us later tonight? Damn, man, being in this room by myself, 
unable to really see anything past me or behind me. Super creepy, especially knowing the reputation of this room and what happened in it. Honestly, I can't wait for Alyssa to come back. Oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> oh, how are you doing? Hi, that was really freaky to Ooh. be honest. Do you ever feel the vibe in a room just shift? Oh yeah, I felt that in the hallway, yeah. It was like that. When I was in the hallway, like I was telling you guys, I got this sudden like panic or urgency in me. I kind of wanted to run <laughs> like back up here. I didn't think anything was gonna happen. It was just more like out of nowhere, the creepy vibes came, you know? The entire time we've been in this room, I felt calm. I don't think that it's just in my head. It was just a weird feeling that came over me. We're sort of taking a break right now. One of the things that I keep thinking about in terms of this hotel is like its reputation, right? When you go to these infamous places, it's like these things always have such a reputation behind them when you know other people have come and have caught crazy things. You got that one dude who claims he caught a full body apparition in the basement. You got like Sam and Kobe. They came, they caught a bunch of stuff. The longer we're here, the more I flip flop. At some points I feel nothing, like I'm absolutely calm. And then at other points I'm just like, this is weird. That's creepy. And I think we've been to enough places to know when a, a place's vibe is really weird and off. You were telling me that when you were in the hallway, you thought you saw someone? Yes, this one. <laughs> the but one the we're on now? Yeah. Jeez. And strangely enough, when we were on the third floor right now coming up, I felt more panic down there. It like switches as if we're being followed. Like it's not just one floor that does it for me. It just a feeling comes over me. The hallways are where I feel it the most. Mm. In the room, it's more calm to me. It's everywhere else in this hotel. But it's also the one... What the fuck? Wait, is that door open over there? I'm pretty sure that door was always open. No, that's not what I'm in referencing. I thought I saw some, like, look out of it. Ah, it could be my eyes playing tricks on me. I don't know. So we're going to dinner. Finally, we're freaking starving, yeah? Okay, so me and such a state, we're about to head up <laughs> back to our room. Let's go. <laughs> So one of the new pieces of ghost hunting equipment that we have is a REM pod. Basically, this acts like a motion detector and it lets you know if anything gets near it. But you still have to get really close to set this thing off.
Okay, so I have an idea. Because the hallways make us feel so uneasy, I say we do an investigation here. So I'm actually thinking we do the Estes method. We're doing it on the third floor because that's where the unknown man and the children are supposed to be. But we're gonna do it on the stairwell. It is late. We don't want to wake anybody up. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, I'm thinking we're gonna do it like right here. That way we're out of the way of any rooms. And because I lost the last challenge, Lisette is gonna do the Estes method this time. So for those of you who don't know what the Estes method is, basically Lisette is gonna act like a conduit for the spirit that is speaking. She's going to repeat any word she hears through the spirit box. She won't be able to hear me and she has a blindfold on so she won't be able to read my lips. Okay, and now we're gonna cycle through. We're gonna sweep in reverse. spirits of children here with us or of a soldier can you say my name you're speaking to the front man I am dude that kind of sounds like it could be the unknown soldier are you the unknown soldier did you used to be a soldier of some kind? What's your name? Can you tell us? Third floor. Oh my god. People. We're literally like on the third floor going up to the fourth. That is insane how they said that. Um, what can you tell me about the third floor? Prizes. A lot of them. Weird. What kind of prizes? Are there more than one of you? If so, how many? More than seven. What the fuck? Oh my god. Is the lady in red one of them? Please. Please what? What would you like me to do? Bro, I have goosebumps. That was crazy. Is there a message that you want to get out? Do you like being here? Does this place make you happy at all? Now I'm having a tough time, Major. Dude. Bro, these are like direct responses. What the hell is going on? Um, okay, sorry, I'm kind of freaking out here. Pray for me. Oh, dude, this is getting weird. This is getting weird. Is there anything you want to tell us we're going to leave now? One last final thing? Before we head back up to our room? Sun's part, but the comeback that's weird. Okay, let's stop with that. Did you tell me? Yeah, dude, that was insane. Really, bro? There was, I, I, I literally, there, there was, oh, I'm like kind of in shock as to how many like intelligent responses that was. That's crazy. There was one where I was like, How many of you are there? and you said, There's seven of like us. More than seven or something. Yeah, something yeah. like that. I'm sure there's other things, but there was there were certain things you said that made complete sense. That was 
freaking insane. What freaked me out was in the beginning when it said third floor evil. Yes, the third floor is where we've been feeling weird and the fact that Lisette said third floor evil, that's pretty wild. Let's get out of this stairwell before someone comes and kicks us out. <laughs> so we are back in the room and we're about to start our investigation, but man, to say things have been going pretty freaking wild here at this hotel so far is an understatement especially the freaking ss method in the freaking stairwell yeah that's crazy after reviewing the footage for that i can't believe how much of it made sense just knowing like that happened there makes me wonder what's gonna happen in this room <sighs> not gonna lie i'm pretty nervous for this investigation but we are spooky nights so we gotta do what we gotta do Now we are in darkness. We are now going to try the REM pod, which this little device, I like this device. <laughs> <laughs> to any entity that's in this room, specifically you, Rose, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, put it on the floor, and we ask you to come interact with us. Okay, so the REM pod's now on. Rose, if you're here with us, can you please make this device go off exactly how you did it earlier? If there's anyone else in this room who would like to let themselves be known, you can touch this device in the middle or get really close to it. Put your energy into it to let us know you're here. Is there anybody here with us? It's so weird that like nothing's happening now. Did you hear that? The creak, yeah. We're gonna walk around here with the EMF reader, like we usually do, see if we get any spikes here in this room. If there are any spirits in this room who would like to communicate with us, that going off? Yeah, it was going off. Um, okay. We have this device, it's similar to the cat balls you were using earlier. If you put your energy into this, or if you stand. Oh. Yeah, if you put your energy into it like that, then that's how we know you're here with us. Can you touch this device or even step closer to us to make it spike and let us know you're here? Okay. Oh, it's good. Can, a good one. can you do it again? Please? <laughs> How about this? Rose, if you're, oh, wow, okay. Oh, it's really weird how it's in the middle of the air. But like when you put it down here where something would be in the floor, there's nothing. There's nothing really against the wall, nothing against the table. Really, well, it's going up a little bit, but really nothing up here. It's like in this spot. See, I don't know. I can't really count this as anything because it's going off continuously and it's not answering our questions. I don't know it, what it could be. I don't know what it could be either, but maybe there is something that's making this go off that we just don't know of, you know what I mean? Yeah. How about this? Rose, if you're... How about this? How about this? Let's go ahead and move on to everybody's favorite device, the spirit box. Okay, so since Lisette did the SS method, I will hold the spirit box, but we're both gonna ask questions. I just get the pleasure of sitting in this nice, fancy little rocking chair. 
is there anybody here in this room with us right now? Who's in this room with us right now? Rose, are you here with us? Did you hear leave? I heard him leave. Are you... No content? Have we upset you in some way? I heard the end. <laughs> Do you not want us to film? Are you just tired of communicating with us? Can you tell us, can you at least tell us why you won't talk to us anymore? Speak. Did you hear why? Yeah. Because we want to talk to you. We heard this is the most haunted hotel in the United States. That this place is haunted, want to prove it to us. Is there anything you want to tell us before I shut this off? What? You're, Something stinks. You're using this... You have 10 seconds. This is really weird. Like, we got some things on the spirit box and a lot of it was like... Antagonistic? We even asked why. Then I heard something about like space, like you're. I know. There might have been some other things I didn't catch, but I don't know. Whatever is in this room or in this hotel doesn't seem like it wants to talk to us anymore. Well, we have no option but to move on, I guess. It's, it's weird, man. Okay, so now we're gonna try the mag lights. We have one set up here. We have another one set up on the other side on that table over there. And just because they're turning on and off does not mean we are talking to something intelligent. However, if it's answering our questions intelligently, then that could be evidence that we are talking to a potential entity. This. Oh, whoa. Okay, that turned on as soon as I said that. Hmm. Okay. All right, can you turn it off, please? Can you turn off the light, please? Okay. If you just prefer... Okay, okay. Oh, wow, that was fast. If you prefer to use these lights to communicate, can you turn it back on? I don't know. It has a delayed reaction. If we upset you in some kind of way, can you turn that flashlight off? We know you've been turning this flashlight on, which is the black one. Can you turn that silver flashlight on the other table on for us, please? I'll even count you down. Three, two, one. If there are multiple spirits trying to talk to us at once, can someone light up one of the flashlights? Okay. If there's one person trying to talk to us, can you light up one of the flashlights? Okay. So can you turn it off, please? Thank you. All right. See, my question is, why is it only that flashlight? Are you, whoever we're talking to, are you able to turn on this other flashlight? It works the same way. Do you just prefer the left flashlight? Okay. 
Did it turn on? Yeah, it flashed. Honestly, in all the time we've done mag lights, they never turn off that fast. Yeah. Okay, whoever we're talking to, were, did you talk to us in the hallway? Yes. Damn, wait, okay. so it's it's whatever we talked to in the hallway? Yes. Are you the unknown soldier? Can you turn that off? Are you the children? Are you another entity here in the hotel? What the fuck? So what that what are we talking to then? If you are a good spirit, can you please turn on this flashlight? On the count of three. Three, two, one. If you're a bad spirit, can you turn this flashlight on in three, two, one? Turn that flashlight on in the next five seconds if you want to talk to me. Five, four, three, two, one. If I'm the person you want to talk to, please light this flashlight for us. Dang, I don't know how I feel about this solo now. <laughs> Bro, it's every time you talk about your own solo, what the hell? If if it's if you want Lisette by herself, turn it off. In three, two, oh. Ooh, shit, okay. Okay. We're gonna start our solo investigations. So I am gonna go ahead and get on out of here, and let's head. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, so there goes Rai. Now it is time for my solo investigation. So we're gonna start using the spirit box to see if maybe the entity would like to talk to me through this. And we are going to sit right here. If anyone would like to talk to me, now is your time. Let's have a conversation. Like, what do you want to tell me? Hello? So I'm out here in the hallway now. All by myself. Okay. Elevator's here. Guys, I can't lie. This elevator really freaks me out. The fact that I can see my reflection in so many directions, I don't like it. Okay, let's go down to the third floor. I also have my camera. Fuck. I also have my camera with me, so I'm gonna start taking pictures in the hallways. Maybe I might get lucky and capture something. there's anyone in this room with me who would like to talk, you can speak into this device and talk to me. Can you say that again, please? Did anyone really want to talk to me? Let's try something else. There is this device right here. If you stand... Yes, it's a device. It is a device. On the floor, yes. The device on the floor. If you can go next to it or touch it, I can know you're here with me. The device on the floor. correctly on the spirit box you said device on the floor 
If you could please just light it up or touch it. I'm here by myself now. I don't know how to feel about this, guys. I don't know if something is just playing a trick on us or if they used to pull their energy in the hallway to talk to us. Maybe we can try the spirit box again. corner that the mag lights were in earlier I'm trying to talk to you okay did you say go away am i in your space i didn't like that i think i swear i heard go away like, I actually feel like I need to go away. <laughs> Roy, come back, please. It's time for us to go back up to the room. So, we're gonna head up there now. Back in the horror elevator. Let's see, will anyone whisper to me? It's my turn to go in there. Did anything happen to you? No. I was taking pictures and going around, but nothing happened. I went to that corner where the mag light was going off right with the spirit box. And right when I turned it on, I heard go away. And that freaked me out. Without yeah, from the spirit box. We'll be back at 3.50. Yep. There goes the set. It's now officially my solo investigation time in this room. So what I'm going to do now is I have this voice recorder again with me. I'm going to lay down on this bed and just talk, I guess. Okay, so I got the voice recorder right here. It is now recording. Is there anyone here with me? Speak into this little device if you are. gonna do basically is just we're gonna travel upstairs and stop wherever it spikes and we'll see who wants to talk to us. I want to know if anyone's here. Do you not want to talk to me anymore? Is there something you want in return for you to talk to us? same spot where we did the S test method, which was right here. <sighs> I thought I heard footsteps. Ooh. It's bike to red. Is there someone on this stairwell with me? the same person I was talking to earlier? I'm not tripping. I'm sure the camera picked that up. I haven't heard any noises like that all night from this room, so that was very strange. 
Got a spirit box here. We're gonna try this again. I'm gonna see if anything will come through on this. Rose, are you with me? Or is there something else in here? Who's me? How about you prove it to me? Prove to me that you're here. Is there a reason why you're evading us? I'm gonna turn this thing off. You have 10 seconds to tell me one last thing. So the last thing I heard on the spirit box was seven. When we were doing the Estes method in the stairwell, one of the responses to me asking how many spirits there were was seven or more than seven. So that number keeps coming up. Okay, I'm gonna do one last thing here. I'm gonna crawl into the tub and lay in there and see if anything wants to happen out here while I'm in there. Wow, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. I'm now I'm gonna lay down in here. This is weird. <laughs> I think Lizette is back because I hear knocking. Yep, Lizette's back, you guys. Okay, so you just came back. What was your experience like? So, I was in a lot of action. I was asking like if they want me to stay up, but in the same spot we did the Estes method, it started spiking really hard. And then when I was starting to come back up here, it started spiking a lot when I got next to the furniture. With me, I did do the spirit box and the number seven came back up again as the very last thing and i was like okay well that number came up when we were doing the estes method yeah i even went to the third floor because it said third floor evil but yeah i went there too i say we do one final thing together to see if we're able to get any answers <sighs> what a weird night Okay, so me and Lisette are currently sitting down, and man, this room looks freaky when the lights are off. We're gonna hold hands real quick so we can strengthen our energy, I guess. But to any spirit or entity that's in this room, let us know you're here. Make a sound, make a noise. You can move something in this room. You can tell us something. Show us proof that you're here. 
chose proof that you're here. Make us believe. We heard you. Can you do it again? They did it. Okay, wait, let's whisper something underneath our breath because we don't know if there if it's somebody outside. Guys, I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but there's, we were asking for something to happen, and there's knocks happening, like we're whispering shit underneath our breath, and there's still knocks happening. Can you please knock from somewhere inside of this room, or closer to this room? It's like when we're asking questions, we're hearing the knocks. What if it's from the spirits from the hallway? Could be. So here's the thing. They're coming from this direction. And not once have we ever heard someone in that room, nor have we ever seen their light on. That was loud. I heard a knock from there. I heard a knock from there again. You didn't know I'm genuinely freaked out right now. Okay. I'm not even kidding, like... Did you not fucking, did you hear that come from the bathtub? Yes. Knock if you're a good spirit. Knock if you're a bad spirit. you have communicated with us. We appreciate it. Thank you and uh, goodbye. done with the investigation and it all pans out to be a really weird investigation from like everything i feel like these spirits might be more intelligent than we think they are the crazy thing is about that ending is we whispered things under our breath and it was still answering stuff if that was somebody listening to us from like the other room how the hell are they hearing us whisper like that there's only one thing left to do and that's go to sleep because we are dead tired. One hell of an interesting night.
so that was our stay at the Mizpah Hotel. We literally drove like eight hours just to get here. And as always, thank you guys so much for joining us on another spooky adventure. This has been another overnights with spooky nights. <laughs> Let's get out of this freaking cold. What are you looking at? Just some research. We're out here filming B-roll. <laughs> this is the coldest I've been in a long time, bro. There's snow right there. I don't really have a jacket or sweater. Arizonans are not made for this weather. <laughs> we ain't built like this, man. 